23 schools in the Chicago Public Schools District have piloted iPads since last fall, but are there any benefits? Um, and for lack of a better term, I'm going to say the iPad is the excuse to really look at teaching and learning. After having used iPads for nearly a full year, teachers and students in the Chicago Public Schools trials are seeing multiple changes and noticing additional benefits. The iPad really allows us to practically take a virtual field trip every day by searching web content in a way that's user-friendly for early childhood students. There you go. So now it's popping up. So now you decide which one you like and the one that you want to write about. Second graders at Burley Elementary School learn about spelling and pronunciation. Each student has his or her own iPad and uses the ABC Magnetic Alphabet app to spell various words. Bridge. So how does BR go? Burr. Okay, so put the burr in front of the um. Also at Burley, first graders use various word processing apps to demonstrate their knowledge of a recent lesson. And the ease of collaboration the device provides is apparent when watching these students work. I know one of these. An additional benefit is putting such a small portable device in the hands of every student. If you have an image that's really compelling and is really going to spark some interesting questions or discoveries for children, you can put that image on every iPad and the students can zoom in, they can manipulate it, they can study it, and that's really a way to engage and captivate, I think, the young students in a meaningful way. Another way Chicago Public Schools is engaging students is at Nettlehorst Elementary, where special education learners who have trouble speaking use the iConverse app with their teacher's help. On their field trip to a local supermarket, students use the app to find items on a pre-written shopping list. We need black olives. Good, okay, look. And we have our black olives. Then, at the end of the trip, they use iConverse to verbally thank the clerk for their experience. And what are you going to say? You're going to say, thank you. At the High School of the Arts, teacher Kevin Cram uses the Coaster Physics app to help physics students build a roller coaster, which allows for easy access, manipulation, and creation. While Cram says he hasn't seen overall improvement thanks to the iPad, he has a possible reason for this. I can tell you that the students are much more engaged and, and you know, uh, in, interested in the material. And because of that, um, maybe I'm pushing them a little bit more and asking more challenging questions. One of the most revolutionary things about the iPad, however, is the way it's transformed student assessments. Assessing student comprehension was once an overnight process, but with the iPad, it takes less than a minute. And as a result from that, the proficiency has gone up because my teaching has become more efficient. And for those who question the iPad as an effective learning tool, teachers in Chicago who have incorporated the devices during this school year beg to differ. I just read the New York Times article where they said, well, it might just be a shiny new toy that the students are excited about, and then the novelty is going to wear off. And I'm saying, you know what? School that I teach in where engagement is something, is a battle we fight every day, and we want kids to be engaged for the content. But also you have to keep in mind that this is the 21st century, and every day we lose them to Xbox 360, texting on cell phones, you know, TV shows, lauding, technology. If we can make the classroom a more technology-rich environment, of course it's going to engage them more. Will more classrooms in Chicago public schools see iPads next fall? It's very likely, especially since the trial has received attention from the state. We have been invited to apply for a state grant based on the work that we've done with the iPad trials. And so it's, it's in general for low-cost laptop options, and the iPad does fall into that category. And so we'll be applying for that, and we hope to, again, be able to gift additional schools an entire setup so that they're able to benefit from the technology as well. To read more about the iPad trial in Chicago Public Schools, turn to page 20 in your April issue of Government Technology Magazine.